Hi, bye. TJ here. Today I have um an action figure I made day of the Burin or Beeren by a I per, I I can't really pronounce his name. I think his name is Alex Reese or something like that. He goes by the name A Biogenesis, I think, on DeviantArt. So yeah. So this is the Beeren figure I made, um, so, um, he can move a lot, but we'll go to posability in a little bit, but let's talk about paint first, I tried to make the eyes pretty glossy at the camera to focus on the eyes, neither we can't really, but the four little antenna looking things, those are his eyes, those little four things, there you go, now you can kind of see. If you can look at that, they're a little bit glossy. There you go. And the inside of his mouth's kind of glossy too. Didn't do too. Don't really. Didn't really do that bad of a paint job on this guy. Um, but yeah, he, the Beeren, is really cool. Um, tried to do the reddish, pinkish line, on the sides of him. You can also see that on the other side. Um. But yeah, they have four eyes and they have four jaws. No. This jaw has got a possibility now the jaw can actually open to reveal a uh, beak-ish looking thing. Which is if the camera would actually focus for once. Uh, there it is. If you can see it to the dark, you can kind of see that little beak in there. And that's... How they would chew their food with that more than likely. If I can make the brightness up, there you go. So you can kind of see his beak if I turn the brightness up on brightness up on the camera. And yes, he can stand by himself. As you saw at the beginning of the video. Except that <laughs> that tends to happen. Um he is made out of 3D pen. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up. I think they're pretty popular at the 3D pen. Um, turn the brightness down a little bit. There you go. Um, but yeah, this Beeren figure I made, um, he can move his legs a lot. Due, due to the pipe cleaners, I put it in him, he can move a lot. He can move quite a bit. His neck can move. He can like act like he's going round. <laughs> See, he does not to stand that well though. I might need to make him bigger feet or I don't know. I actually like the way he is, but yeah, he, there you go, there you go. And uh, they also have these body parts, which are not they, they're called wings, but they're not really wings. But they use uh to uh control their body heat and also to speak too. Um. Close his mouth. That would be great. There you go. See the wings coming out to the side of them. They're to, uh, to, uh, not really speak, but they're there to communicate and, uh, stuff. They're also used to, uh, kind of like the sale of a Dimetrodon, or at least what people think that, they're dim that the Dimetrodon used to. They can go to body temperature with this with this guy's wings. Um, I painted the back of them blue, as you could kind of see. Yeah. Um, sadly, the eye stalks cannot move on this guy because I was really limited to the size of this dude. I really wanted them to be pretty tiny. Not really tiny, but pretty sm like action figure sized. Also, the his little arms can move too. Um, speaking of size, let's go measure him with some other figures I got. Okay, now it's size comparison time with other mainly Godzilla figures I got. First is Shin Godzilla second form. We're gonna have to pan the camera up for the rest of these guys. Shin Godzilla, uh, Fourth Awakening form. 
This is the SH Monster Twin, by the way. I forgot to mention, mention that. Haya Toys Burning Godzilla or Burning Monsterous Godzilla or Thermo. Whatever you want to call it by Haya. And here is Beeren compared to the SH Monster. It's Mechagodzilla. He looks pretty small. So yeah, what do you think of my Beeren figure? Or Beeren, how do you pronounce his name? What do you think of him? Do you think he's cool? Do you think he might need some, um, something better with him? Like, uh, some different with his paint job or something? What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. What do you think of my Beeren, uh, figure? And also, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Sensor the heavens.